What's up guys, welcome back, I'm F and Hate It. In today's video, we're gonna figure out what 2022 has to offer for VR. First off, let's check out the hardware that's gonna be dropping for this year. So if you've been following Project Cambria, that one we believe is going to be the Oculus Quest Pro. From the leaks, the controllers don't have that tracking ring anymore. Instead, they're gonna have cameras embedded in the controllers. They're also gonna be supporting color pass-through and face with eye tracking. Now that's gonna be awesome strictly because avatars will be able to be mimicking your facial expressions. Now this is speculating for Oculus Pro. I'm assuming it's gonna be Oculus Pro as well. Now we have PSVR 2. This is the follow-up to PSVR and they were promising to deliver an incredible gaming experience. So we do know that the headset itself has haptic feedback in the headset. You know, not like just the controllers or whatever, actually in the headset. It's supposed to help immersion as far as like a bullet flying by your head or anything of that. You can, you can just feel that. And the controllers are something to be loved as well. Now the controllers have haptic feedback adaptive triggers. This will make the immersion of gunplay even better. Now they're gonna be running with HD VR with a 110 degree field of view running an OLED display and the resolution of 2000 by 2040 per eye with smooth frame rates at 90 to 120 Hertz. Now we'll have eye tracking as well. One thing that people were a little upset about was the cable. You have to be plugged in for this to work. We've seen some reports about Apple creating their mixed reality headset. Now for their hardware, it seems very impressive. And I've seen a couple of their speculations as far as prices go and <laughs> not so good. We see that there's gonna have 12 tracking cameras that can feed information to two 8K displays in front of the user's eyes. On top of that, they'll be using some laser sensors, some very expensive laser sensors. So that sounds beautiful, but the price tag that they quoted does not. Mark Gurman claims that the price tag could be upward $2,000. Whoo! That's a lot of change, man. But again, everything as far as the hardware and the concept is just rumored right now. We don't know exactly what's going to be in there. And if that price tag is correct, I really hope it packs a huge punch. Now the hardware in this one is a beast. So the longtime headset maker Pimax is going all in with its reality series. This is promising the highest end experience going for VR. So that's 200 Hertz HDR LCD panels with a near 6K per eye resolution and a 200 degree field of view. It's also a standalone PC hybrid that features an XR2 for the former. And of course, it's gonna cost as much as you think it's going to be about $2,500. That's a lot of change. But again, it is packing a lot under the hood. And if you, if you can afford this, might as well go for it. So guys, if you uh, donate now, sparingly, non-sparingly, give me your rent money. Maybe I can pick one up too. <laughs> So that's just the hardware side of this. You can see that the VR market is starting to ramp up. And I, for one, am extremely excited to see all of these projects going on. Now let's look at the game side of it. What can we expect in 2022? I don't want to keep you guys too long. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of the trailer and then move on. First one on the list is Wanderer. This should be dropping in January 28th. Built from the ground up for VR, Wanderer has a unique blend of escape room style puzzles. Hands-on interactions and action arcade sequences to bring you the ultimate time travel adventure. Are you ready to walk in the footsteps and those who have gone before you? Next up, Ultra Wings 2. Mayday pilot. Enemy fighters are closing This is for in. Steam VR and Quest. Welcome back to Ultra Wings Pilot. Take to the skies using your virtual hands to fly five unique aircrafts as you complete a diverse set of engaging handcrafting missions across an island-themed world in this made-for-VR aerial-themed action-adventure game. Now we got Green Hell VR. I think this one was actually slated for last year or maybe it was just the demo. Either way, look forward to this madness. It will be releasing for Steam VR and Quest 2. I'm hoping that they actually do it on Rift as well because if you got it on Steam VR, you should be able to port that son of a bitch over to Rift. I've seen them not do this before, but don't quote me on this. Might just be standalone quest too. Let's hope not. Green Hell VR is an open world survival experience set in the Amazon rainforest based on the successful PC game Green Hell. So from Pancake to VR. Now we've seen Zenith drop. Fight to craft, explore, and lose yourself in a massively multiplayer world built for VR. The MMO we've been looking for.
This one is up for Quest 2. It is Cities VR. Be the mayor in Cities, the ultimate VR city building and managing simulator. It's almost like SimCity in VR. To so design neighborhoods, construct buildings, direct the flow of traffic. Tired of those school zones? Fuck it! Open it up with 70 mile an hour speed zones. This is the mayor speaking. This is the last clock winder. It's on Steam VR and Quest 2. Should be sometime in the summer of 2022. I like it when they actually tell you a little about that. So this is a VR game about building contraptions out of your own clones in a cozy sci-fi world. Sounds quite interesting. Next one, we've seen this on SideQuest, at least I have. It has been an app lab and they're finally going to be releasing it. This is T for God. This will be on Steam VR and Quest 2 late of 2022. VR adventure that allows infinite movement within your own space. I've seen this one in action. It takes your room scale experience and turns it into the game. So you're just wandering around in your room scale. Even if you don't have that big of a space, it makes it feel like it's massive. Next one is some horror. Thank God I've been waiting on more horror games. This one is the Exorcist Legion Sin. Platform is Quest and PSVR. As a sequel to the Exorcist Legion VR, the game advances the chilling storyline and mythology with both single player and co-op gameplay as well as some other mechanics and playstyles never seen before in a horror co-op game. Yes! 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 Sold! This one should be coming in late 2022. Next one is another horror game, Propagation Paradise Hotel. If you've played Propagation on Steam VR, then you know what this can pack. This one's only going to be offered on Steam VR, so you can air link to it if you got a quest to. Live an intense VR survival horror adventure in which you will explore dark environments, make terrifying encounters, and get your adrenaline pumping. Will you find your way out of the Paradise Hotel alive? This one I want to say I found on itch.io a long time ago, and I think it was just a regular PC game. I could be wrong, this might be just a branch off to it into the VR world, but this is Ziggy's Cosmic Adventures. This will be on Steam VR and Quest 2 late 2022. This is a fully immersive cockpit VR set in a stunning universe. Fight your way through the solar system in some intense arcade combat. Navigate through the treacherous space environments and feel the rush of scrambling to manage your ship's systems. Next one is Vertigo 2. This is for Steam VR. Going to be released in some time of 2022, so you know, somewhere between day one and day 365, anywhere in between. Sounds swell. This is a single player VR adventure. You can explore the depths of the vast quantum reactor as you descend to finish your journey home. Next one is Ultimax. This one looks pretty interesting now. This one will be releasing on Steam VR and Quest platforms, possibly PlayStation as well. Now it is a multiplayer VR gaming experience from Resolution Games that will be coming to major VR platforms this year. As a thrill of professional athletes meets the precision of purpose-built machines, Ultimax welcomes players into the sport of the future to compete for victory. If you don't have the speed, precision, or rocketry that it takes to defeat your opponents, then you're done for. Now that sounds interesting. A lot of mech games I've played just move so slow and eh, eh, eh. I'm really hoping that it's going to be fast-paced action because if it's not fast-paced action, it is not for me. We need a lot of speed and we need some rockets. We need a lot of explosions. This could bring it. Next up is Samurai Slaughterhouse. I have been seeing this demo passed around a lot. Really hope a lot of these games pass me some keys. This would be awesome to actually try each individual game out. Hey now devs, if you're interested, hit me up. This one's to release on Steam VR, Quest 2, and PSVR. This is VR only physics based combat game. Use stealth and creativity or brute force to take on your foes in a vast physics based sandbox. Ho oh, ho ho. Stealth is my weakness. Always my weakness, so brute force it is. You can battle both humans and demons while exploring a large Metroidvania-style open world. Collect items and power up your character, explore towns, and interact with NPCs. 
Now, Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell were announced last year. We don't know if they're gonna be dropping this year. If so, it would be awesome, but I just wanted to bring it up just in case. At least it's something you can look forward to. This format is kind of new to my channel. Again, I just want to spread the word of what's going on in VR. I'm not like a news channel. I do a lot of shooters and I'm making my way into some tournaments. I do make some guides. I don't know. This this channel has just been a whole mishmash of a bunch of random VR shit. I'm finding my way. If this has helped you out and you like this style of video, do smash like, drop comments down there. Let me know you want more of these videos. I'll definitely pump them out. And again, I will see you guys next time. Peace out till then.